Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Eerie Enigma, and if you want to experience the Eerie Enigma, the links and the details are down below in the description. This is going to be a first person survival horror game where I'm going to be playing as a detective investigating a series of disappearances. My investigation is going to take me to the outskirts of town, to an eerie mansion. Maybe there I'll find the answers to my questions. Or maybe not. We're about to find out though. Here we go. This is Eerie Enigma. Okay, so September 6th, 1997. In the small town of Nibelheim, a series of bizarre disappearances have been occurring over the past few months. The townspeople are frightened, and rumours are spreading of something sinister lurking in the nearby woods. The local authorities are stumped and have called upon the expertise of Detective Connor Novak to investigate. That'll be me, Connor Novak. All right. All right, here we are then. Nice parking, Connor. <laughs> you want to make absolutely sure no one else can get through. This is Detective Connor. I'm almost there now. <laughs> Copy that. How's the situation working? It's raining heavily out here, and I haven't seen anyone or anything yet. Be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with here. Keep us updated on anything you find. Got it. I'm going to keep moving. Connor out. All right, Connor out. Interesting dialogue. Uh, yeah, uh, the voice acting AI generated. The, the cadence is just a little bit off, isn't it? You can always tell. All right. Seems like we can sprint. Hey. What the hell just happened? I don't know. I don't know, but let's keep on moving, shall we? We're in some sort of red hallway here. I. And now we're not. Maybe I should go back to my car. I don't know. Or, or maybe I should call for backup. Huh. Strange. Okay, well, it seems we're at the very end here. Okay, we've got some doors. They open. All right. What the hell is this? Is this the mansion that I'm supposed to be investigating? This place gives me creeps. <laughs> I'm glad I brought my gun with me. Okay, yeah, it gives me creeps too. All the creeps. Um, okay. So yes, we do have a flashlight, we do have a gun. We've got six rounds by the looks of it. Let's begin our investigation. Huh. Am I supposed to be getting a sort of Resident Evil vibe? Because yeah, that is the vibe that I'm getting. For sure. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything here. It looks like there is another level above me, though. Okay. Let's see. Wait. Did I just hear something? Ah. Oh. Okay, this is locked from the other side, but down here? Again, locked from the other side. Next door, though. I think someone might be in here. Oh. Oh, wow. I... Okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was someone missing half their head, and yet my bullet finished them off. I got a saw for a hand. What the fuck? Oh, God. How did this happen? I don't know him. <laughs> but he looks like he was tortured by that thing. This is sickening. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know him. I love that. I love that. What we got here? Ammo? Ammo. Fantastic. Oh, there's something to read as well. Okay, day one. I can hardly believe it. I've actually done it. The creature has emerged. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. A true marvel of science and magic. I've spent hours just observing it, trying to understand its movements and behavior. I feel like I'm on the cusp of a breakthrough, something that'll change the course of human history. But for now, I must proceed with caution. The creature is powerful and unpredictable, and I cannot risk losing control. Was that the creature? It didn't seem very powerful to me. Anything else around here? Okay. <laughs> I don't know him. That really tickled me. Oh, hang on. So I can open the drawers. Nothing inside, though. What about on the other side? There's another book, actually. I can't read that. Oh! I found a key. The exhibition room key. Okay. Anything else? Not there. Uh, what about the drawers over here? Doesn't seem like I can get these open. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. 
Uh, okay. So, yeah. I think the game description did mention twisted creatures I'd have to fight off. I guess that's one of them. Alright. So, let's see. Where's the exhibition room going to be? On this floor? The one above? Looks like we've got one door across from me, so let's try this one first. Okay, alright, here we are. I think this fits the bill, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is very Resident Evil, isn't it? Okay. Moving on. Yeah, alright. Another hallway. Hmm. It seems like we're not sort of teleporting back and forth anymore. That was strange. That was very strange. Again, locked from the other side. Again. <laughs> that one's just locked. So maybe I actually have a hope of finding a key to get this door open. But, uh, okay. Is that it? Seems like that's it. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, let's go up here. Although I'm pretty sure that was the exhibition room, so if I had the key for it, there's probably something I need to do through there. Let's just see where else I can go. Okay. Not that way. Okay, that's not locked from the other side. That's just merely locked. Over here? Hey. Ooh. What was that? Right, I'm definitely not alone. I just heard someone... Slam a door. Was it the front door? Was it someone leaving? I don't know. This one? Locked from the other side, so I've got no hope. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, just out of interest. Can I get out of here? Can I go back to my car? Can I leave? Of course I can't. It's now locked from the other side. Oh, bugger. Okay. Right, so this has got to be the exhibition room, right? I don't see any other doors around here. There was nothing through that. There's got to be something here. Oh, on the wing. Didn't see that up there. Right, the dining room key. Wasn't I just in the dining room, though? Surely. Oh, but hang on. There is a second level to it, isn't there? So, yeah, maybe that's where I need to go next. Let's go up the stairs. Alright. <sighs> Detective Novak, you seem to run out of breath very, very quickly. Oh crap! Oh crap! There's more of them! Okay. They're quite weak, thankfully. Right. Is there no reload? Did... I, I guess there was just that one bullet in that box. Yeah, I I've only got three bullets left then. That's not good, is it? Right. What am I gonna find? There's got to be something, right? Another key? Something over here. We've got a safe. Oh, oh wow, okay. Okay, zero to 99 on all three of these? Oh, man. I... <laughs> I don't know. It's not that. The code must be somewhere around here. Right, well, maybe this is it. Okay. I've been running tests on the creature, and the results are astounding. Its mere presence seems to have a destabilizing effect on reality, causing strange phenomena to occur within the mansion. I've observed ghostly apparitions, twisted creatures, and even entire rooms that seem to shift and morph before my eyes. It's almost like the creature is warping reality around itself. I must continue my research and unlock the secrets of this phenomenon. That's not going to help me unlock the safe, though, is it? Well, I haven't seen anything thus far. This is the new area. You'd think I'd find something here, but there's no cupboards, there's no drawers that I can get open by the looks of it. Hang on. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Alright, that's part of the passcode. Uh, that's, yeah, that's that's one of the numbers that I need. I need two more. This code is incomplete. There must be another piece of paper laying around somewhere in this mansion. Exactly. I need to check every corner. Every corner? Bloody hell. Okay, that might take me a while, but <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Wait, what was that? Pick up pick up ammo? I can pick up ammo. I, I think I can actually get inside the safe. <laughs> Alright, let's try and do it properly. Let's actually try and unlock it. Hopefully it wasn't just the ammo, because, you know, otherwise, not much point. Down 
here, maybe? Right, so this is just a dead end. Um, I don't know. What about over there? I don't know if I went over there, did I? Oh, great. This can't get any worse. What, what the hell? What the hell? These oh boy. bullets are useless against this thing. Right, okay. I better get away from it. <laughs> yeah, I better. I better. Okay. Uh, let's go down to the ground level, I think. Yeah, let's go down to the, the ground level dining room. Oh god, it's locked. Oh boy, okay, right. Uh, I don't suppose this is now open, is it? No? Bloody hell, okay. So this very tall ghost can just teleport around by the looks of it. This is another one of those strange phenomena, I assume. Oh, hang on. Oh. Was that there before? I don't know if that was there before, to be honest. Right, that might have been part of the code. Okay. And just like that, she's gone. At least for now. Okay, yeah, this I don't think was here before. Oh, perfect, it's the other two numbers. So it's 17, 17, right, okay. So 17, 17, 13, right. Let's go back to the dining room safe. Let's go into that before I forget. 17, 17, 13, right? Yes, okay. All right, so there's a key to the living room. Okay. And there's also another bit of this diary. Day seven now. I'm beginning to see the true extent of my mistake. The creature's power is growing beyond my control, and it seems to be summoning other entities from beyond our world. These entities are not like anything I've seen before, and they're becoming increasingly aggressive and starting to look more horrific. I fear for my safety and that of anyone who might get near the mansion. I must find a way to stop the creature before it's too late. Right, okay, so clearly this creature is something that we haven't seen quite yet. We're just dealing with these other entities. Right, okay, well, maybe I'm going to find the creature in the living room, right? Where's that going to be? Uh, that was locked from the other side. This one was just locked. But I guess that's not the one. Okay. Um, back here, maybe? Let's see. Okay, so I think they were all locked from the other side. What, this one? No, that was locked from the other side as well. Maybe it's the other hallway that I'm thinking of. Just trying to keep a mental track of where these locked doors are. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, this is kind of interesting, to be honest. Uh, I, you know, we've, we've played a lot of sort of, uh, you know, rough around the edges versions of Resident Evil games in the early survival horrors. Um, I think the pinnacle of those games would be Nightmare of Decay. That's like the perfect B-movie version of the early Resident Evils. Oh boy. If that's the B-movie version, this would be the C-movie version. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright. Okay. Well, here we are. Ah, more ammo. Brilliant. Only three more rounds, unfortunately. What have we got here? Only when the katanas are arranged accordingly. And then we've got some kanji. Okay, right. Seems like it's going to be for a puzzle. I think it has something to do with the paintings. I think you might be right. Yes, yes, in the exhibition room. Anyway, day 14. I've discovered that the creature is vulnerable to its own kind. They seem to possess a unique property that can weaken the creature. I've constructed a device in a secret lab that isn't so secret anymore that can extract the energy from the summoned entities. If you can gather three samples of their blood, you might be able to destroy the creature and end this nightmare. I'm afraid my weak body won't allow me to fight those things, and I won't be here for too long. If anyone is reading this, I'm really sorry for what I've done. All I wanted was to resurrect my dead wife, but I created a disaster instead. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> So, only when the katanas are arranged accordingly. Okay, let's see. Is there a hole through there? No, okay. Ah, these would be the katanas. So, we've just got to swap them around. Okay, so there's, there's six of them. There's six of these symbols as well. I did notice that a few of the paintings did have some kanji on them, so, right, yeah, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to take a, a good long look at this exhibition room, I think. Yeah, here we are. 
So, I guess each of these would represent a different color. Hmm, okay. So that one would very clearly be green. That one would be yellow. That one may be blue. Right. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a little note of the, uh, of the symbols, and I'm going to have to see if I can get them right. Okay, so that one... It's not white, it's silver. That one's going to be silver. Okay, this one is green. Uh, again, there's no yellow, but there's there's a gold, so that one's going to be gold. This one over here... I guess this is going to be... I guess this is going to be black. Yeah. This one's going to be blue. Which I suppose would make you red. This one doesn't seem to be involved. Yeah, this is a bit of a red herring. That isn't on the sheet. Right. Providing that I've got this right, <laughs> we should be able to complete the puzzle. We want the blue one up there. We want the black one over there. This golden one down there. Something oh. behind me just triggered. Oh, was it the fireplace? It was the fireplace. I knew that looked strange. A secret passage. Right. Let's crawl in. Oh, all right. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm quite liking this. All right. Nothing to read. Just this. Take the blood capsule. Not enough blood. Oh, of course. I need to collect those three blood samples, don't I? Okay. There's nothing else around here. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess this was the secret lab. Uh, okay. Well, I've crawled in. Now I'm going to crawl out. Those samples. I guess. Well, hang on. Are the bodies still around? This one is. Hey, there we go. Right, okay, so I've drawn blood from one of them. I think I need to find two more, if possible. Okay. Oh. I think this guy just volunteered, and he dropped some ammo. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Right. So I've drawn your blood. One more. Um, I guess... Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go upstairs. Right. Oh, there she is again. Right, I I don't think I can take her out, at least not yet. Maybe if I get that third sample. Right? So, <laughs> almost ran into her. Uh, if it's going to be anything like last time, I'm, I'm just going to have to sort of outrun her for well, like half a minute or so. Oh, all right. Some of this game is goofy, and uh, some of it's actually pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I'm having fun with this one. Oh, there she is. I think, honestly, if I just keep running around in a circle up here to the best of my ability, we're going to be okay. All right. And she's gone again. Okay, good, good, good. Right, so, um, yeah. Up here? <laughs> Man, Novak, hit the treadmill. You need to improve your conditioning. There we go. Okay. I think I've drawn three blood samples now. Did I draw a fourth? I could, but to be honest, I, I don't want to ruin it. I was, I was asked for three, and three specifically. That's what I've done. So, let's go back to that secret lab and see if this works. Alright. Here we are in the secret cubby hole of a lab. Let's see. Oh? Great. What did I just trigger? <laughs> I've got no idea. Maybe you should have thought about that before you put it in. The blood did go in, though. Something did happen. Am I going to get something here, or...? or... Well, as he said, what did I trigger? Maybe there's going to be something around the mansion now that's different. Let's see. Alright. So, I'm just going to re-explore the place. Maybe check those locked doors again. Was there another one through there? This one was locked. What's this sound? I don't know. But it is coming from beyond these doors. Oh. Oh! We're back to the red hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did that make me jump? Alright, yeah. Oh, 
Hang on. Is that... Crap. Oh, bloody hell. And, and shooting is not going to do anything, is it? No. Okay. I can't go back now. What the hell is this? Oh. Oh, God. You must be the creature. Crying blood. Oh, right. Oh, thanks for the ammo. Right. Do I... Okay. Alright, hang on. There's another door over there. That's probably where I need to go, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, one or two rounds in there. Whoop. One or two rounds in there, dead. Okay. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Is that it? Right, no more crying for you. I'm gonna get to the end of this hallway. Uh, right. Okay. Maybe this is the secret lab. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Now I'm stuck here. Okay. There's no power. There's no power to these machines. Right, these are pre-made blood samples, I guess? Okay, it may be, you know, your, your dead wife's blood? I don't know. Here? Okay. Right, well, let, let's try these again. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Was that the end of the creature? Not just the creature, that's the end of the game, and I suppose that's the end of the investigation as well. Oh my god, what am I going to tell my colleagues? It was some interdimensional sun eye? They're never going to believe me. Okay, so that was Eerie Enigma. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Mohammed, well done. That was actually quite a fun little experience, yeah. Nothing too special, nothing too groundbreaking. You know, as I said earlier, it is like a, a B-movie version of Resident Evil or Nightmare of Decay, these games that ape early survival horrors. But I did quite enjoy it. Yeah, I think some of the fundamentals you got right. I, I quite enjoyed exploring the mansion. I liked the puzzles, the varied enemies. I quite enjoyed the dialogue and the sort of poor voice acting. That was pretty fun. Yeah, it's just a, a bit of a shame that the investigation didn't last a little bit longer and I didn't get to explore more of the mansion before we get to this very abrupt ending. But there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Nice parking, Connor. <laughs> Want to make absolutely sure no one else can get through. Seems like we can sprint. Hey. What the hell just happened? I don't know. Is this the mansion that I'm supposed to be investigating? This place gives me creeps. <laughs> I'm glad I... Oh, wow. I... Okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was someone missing half their head, and yet my bullet finished them off. How did this happen? I don't know him. <laughs> but he looks like... Oh, great. This can't get any worse. What? What the hell? I've constructed a device in a secret lab that isn't so secret anymore. So, <laughs> almost ran into her. We're back to the red hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did that make me jump? I can't go back now. What the hell is this? Oh, oh God. Wow, okay. 